this matchup. And just a reminder, Monday's games have been rescheduled uh, because of inclement weather on Monday night. The game times for Monday's games versus Auburn State will be changed. Tomorrow for the Lady Lions game will be at 2 o'clock p.m. Immediately following the women's game at approximately 4 o'clock p.m., the Golden Lions will tip off. Once again, on Monday night, on Monday afternoon, the Lady Lions will tip off at 2 o'clock p.m. instead of 5 30. And the Golden Lions will tip off approximately at 4 o'clock p.m. instead of 7 30 again on Monday afternoon, right here in the Gate of the Women's Arena.
Good afternoon and happy new year, folks, as we
here inside of the Joe Clements Arena, streaming live on our YouTube channel and take the lead on UAPB TV. Tim Stubbs and Tyrese Bowen here this afternoon, UAPB and Southern. This is the fourth conference game of the early season for UAPB, but they start off 3-0 and early on here, and you couldn't ask for a better start on the road, and now first conference home game tonight. No, when we were calling football, I was saying, uh, when you had to go to your sister's wedding and we had to call that first game, we had that perfect start with the 1-0 start. And I want to see us continue forth that in basketball right here. 3-0 and is an excellent way to start, and I can't wait to see the progress we have made from last year on. Well, the Golden Lions led early on this season by number 23, Martavius McKnight, junior college transfer. He has been something special for UAPB out of Itawamba Community College in Wallace, Mississippi. McKnight, a 6'3", 190 junior. Marvelous Martavius McKnight, if you will, as he's been two-time conference player of the week already. And, you know, accolades coming in for McKnight and company. Let's we'll see what they can do. Right side, Harper step back, 15 footer, no good. Rebound pulled down by Mayo. They'll push it ahead. These two teams always seem to play a close, tough matchup that goes down to the wire. And yeah, we'll see if we have see another yeah. one here today. They'll work it around the perimeter here. First possession for Southern. Starting out in the 2 3 zone. Mayo. Lost it, now stolen here by McKnight. He'll push it ahead to Jackson. Right side, passing up the shot. McKnight, he'll pull the three and hits as he stays red hot from downtown. He was three of five from deep and their 26 point win at Alabama State on Monday night. It hits his first one here. Three left wing for Southern, wide open and knocking it down as Darius Johnson. We're tied at three. Return to sender right there, threes on each side. And I think a lot of this is being set up by the UAPB defense as they're going full court, one, uh, two, one, and two. And I tried to force that one in there. Lost it back on the other end in transition and end one for Southern. As beating everybody back down on the other end of the floor is number 10, Jamar Setifer, 6'3". Sophomore guard out of Dallas, Texas, giving Southern the 5-3 to three lead. Well, like as I was saying, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from the UAPB defense so far until that play. 2-1-2, uh, two, two, full court, followed by a 2-3 zone in the half court game. So it looks like they don't really want to go man-to-man, -man, but they're taking advantage, taking away pa passing lanes and driving lanes from the Jaguars. Sandifer's three-point play giving Southern a six to three lead 1825 to play early first half here's McKnight right side steam from 17 no good rebound pulled down by Shepard and a whistle and a reach in on Posey it's gonna be the first foul on Posey second team foul Going back to McKnight's great start, over 20 points in each of the three conference games, but 26 points, nine assists, 15 six, rebounds, uh, I believe. rebounds, nine assists on uh, Monday night. You said something about 15 rebounds a couple of days ago. Maybe you're having selective memory there, but still excellent by McKnight, and they're probably, probably going to look to run the offense through him. Here's step back three this time, no good by Johnson, but the offensive loose ball there. And layup is good, and it's eight to three, an 8-0 run here for Southern, giving them a five-point advantage. McKnight with the basketball is working around the perimeter here. Kwamari Hardy into the ball game. Top of the key, McKnight, a good look at a three, missed it, hit the floor, wanted a foul, no call. Gonna have a foul on the rebound. Looks like that's gonna go against Darius Johnson of Southern. Oh, Caught him with the over the back play. You gotta box out if you wanna get a rebound in this level. 
because they'll call you for that every single time. Inbound here to Steen. Left side, Hardy, a little shake in the corner. Three-pointer for Jackson is short. And crashing for the rebound was Steen. He's going to be fouled. Excellent effort on the offensive board there by Steen. He went right up for it and forced the foul. And that's going to be the, the second team foul for the Jags so far. Inbound to McKnight here. Nearly three minutes in, eight to three. Southern with a lead. Strong drive by Steen, but blocked. Rejected by Jared Sam. Yeah, Jared there. Sam with 6'9, big boy out of. Oh, uh, what does that say there? Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Baseline kick out to Johnson. Back to Sam. Top of the key, almost a steal by McKnight. In the lane, shot up with the right hand. Will not go, but the stick back is there for Sam. Got the big block and then rewarded at the other end with the rebound, put back score, and there's a seven-point advantage now to deal with for UAPB Golden Knights. 10-3, good start here for Southern. It's the Golden Lions down seven early on. Left side to Jackson, top of the key to Hardy. Pull up from 17, no good. Just off the back iron there. I like that look, though, off the elbow. He had space to take the shot. Southern up seven. Sam will take the 15-footer air ball. Chased down here by McKnight. Looks like they transferred from a 2-3 to 3-2 on that defensive play, and it worked out. Steen will knock in the 15-footer left wing. Easy, easy jumper there. No contest. And easy takes advantage of that lapse in concentration. 10-5. Southern leads it by five. Just over four minutes into the contest here. Early 3.30 start to this one. They moved it up. Some bad weather and road conditions uh, yesterday leading into today, so they moved up the time. Beautiful. Nice hands by Steen, leads to a breakout. Crossover dribble and gets the layup. I heard a smack, no, it wasn't called, but it doesn't matter, two points the other way. Waited for the defender to flash by and executed now 10-7. Steen scores four quick ones in a row. Nice fake pass there. Nearly five minutes into the first half here. 10-7, Southern up by three. Mayo holds it out high. Now right side to Johnson. They're working around the perimeter here. Shepard kick out. Johnson for three and hits. Yeah, had an open one off of that inside-out play. We saw a little bit of that during the women's game for the Jags, and it seems like it's transferred over. The dump, the dump inside, they crash to help, and then they just take an advantage of. Harper, now in the corner to Hardy. Trying to get it to McKnight, that's gonna be a reach-in foul, trying to go over the back there to knock it away. That will be on Sandifer, Corey. and we'll have our first media timeout of the ball game. We'll take it with them here. 14.33 to play first half. Southern 13, UAPB seven, right back in a moment. Fast start to this one for Southern. 
as they lead it 13 to seven. The Golden Lions not that far behind. They're trying to keep up. McKnight leading the score, uh, leading the scoring right now. I think I'm correct on that. Yes, so no inbound it, trying to get it to McKnight, but it was a miscommunication as he didn't see the pass going to that spot. A little floater pull up, no good, but they're gonna have to find a body on Sam as that's his second that's a, put yeah, back bucket. Second, yeah, second or third. And Sam's been really making the big boy plays out there. We need to get a box out body on that. That's one of the weaknesses of the two three, like we've been saying. 15 to 7. Step back three is good on the left wing for Joe Randall Tolliver. He had five three-point baskets at Alabama State as he can do that. He can shoot the basketball and he continues to stay hot. Exactly, a hot hand. Golden Lions back to within five. Corner three will not go. Good again, box Sam. out by Jackson, but could not get the rebound. Sam again on the rebound there. And he's been really dominating the board so far in this game. Trying to get it to Sam instead. Take the three. Will not go. Sandifer now tipped out. Three chances here. At four. Eight, four. Offensive rebounds killing UAPB early on here. These ones coming from uh, LaQuinton Collins, uh, junior out of Monroe, uh, Louisiana. Step back three, right wing is chance after good. chance after chance they yeah. had. Four opportunities at it, and finally they make them pay with a three. Makes it 18 to 10, Southern by eight. Baseline tough jumper by McKnight, no good. In and out. Don't and quite it's like going to go shot. back to Southern up by eight. So Southern with an eight point lead in the basketball. They got to love their start here on the road. The Gold Lions still trying to find their rhythm. Long three again, right wing, no good this time by Reese. Blocked go, underneath stretch. by Banyard. And Jackson on the run out here leads to an open three. McKnight will not go. Offensive rebound, Banyard to Tolliver. Top of the key, too strong. A couple of real good looks at it there, but couldn't knock him down. Well, they had to. They wanted to get them right back with the three of them for themselves, and they were so determined by it. Sandifer, the little floater. Banyard's going to get called for over the top here on the rebound, and 11.46 to go. That should lead us to our second media timeout, I believe, but not sure if they see it. They do now. So we'll step aside here with 11.46 to play first half. And it's Southern 18, UAPB 10, right back with more Golden Lion basketball right here on UAPB TV after this. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? The University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff would like to welcome back to Golden Lion country the new head football coach of the UAPB Golden Lions, Mr. Cedric Thomas. The crowd of applause, ladies and gentlemen. He's a native of Cleveland, Mississippi, a 2001 graduate of UAPB. He comes back to UAPB for Allborn State University, where he served as defensive coordinator for program which he in the last four swing championships. I saw that little movie. Winning yeah. championships in 14 and 15. Once again, big round of applause and a Golden Lion welcome home for our new head football coach, Mr.
Introducing Cedric Thomas, new head football coach at UAPB during the last timeout. It's a bit of an uh, official public introduction besides media. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see him here. And welcome to the Golden Lion Nation, Cedric Thomas. There's a bit of an air of excitement around this uh, new acquisition of uh, Cedric Thomas. As, uh, as defensive coordinator, you know, that's been one of their weaknesses. Number one, keeping them healthy. Number two, long, long passes. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see next season how, that, how the changes are starting to be made. 11.41 to play here in this one as we resume play. 19 to 10, Southern up by nine. Their largest lead so far. One more free throw coming up. Just back from the media timeout, missing the second. Trying to keep it alive. Harper battling for it. Last touched out of bounds off of Umud. All we can promise is that we'll try. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> here is McKnight, the shake, step back three is short, gets his own rebound. Tolliver, good ball movement, now to Jackson, needs some help. Good defense there by Southern. McKnight just shaking and baking, looking for something. Trying to break his man down with little to no success. Trying to go back door cut, good hand stolen away. And lost out by Southern. UAPB will get it back right into the hands of George Ivory. He had to hold the ball for a minute. He's not very happy on the sideline as he's giving Harper an earful over there. <laughs> and that look, that pack of sour candy look that he has oh boy. Gives every once in a while. A little, little flustered, a little flurled. Robertson, they'll work it around. Right side, Tolliver for three, a deep one at that. Knocks it down his second of the game. Bang! That's nice from Tolliver right there. Equalizer. Found, recognizing that you're open and then not hesitating on the shot. Opportunity calls. Pulls the Golden Lions to within six and a charge now is gonna be called on Chris Thomas. Nothing I like more than a good charge play there. Way to go by, I believe that was Tall or wait, Robertson, it looks like, on that play. Putting his body out there and putting it on the line. You get the call, he does get it. Here's McKnight, the blow by, and then the layup. Beautiful take. And driving basket, McKnight's got five points. And the Golden Lions to within four here, 19 to 15. 10 minutes to play first half. Southern with a basketball, up by four. Thomas, open three, right side, no good. Tolliver, the rebound, tipped, and he's just whew, gonna let it go out of bounds, but they're gonna say last touched by Southern now, as initially they said out of bounds off of McKnight, but McKnight said he tipped it. The referee's three. got the call right. Yeah, you know, and you check with the other person. referee as well. It's not like, you know, McKnight uh, is so good that he can influence referee's decision by himself, but. It doesn't hurt to try. And it does it not hurt out to that try. time. Quick trigger three is short by Jackson. Don't really like that three attempt there, but. The run out and the foul is going to lead to two free foul. throws for Southern. You know what? That's a good foul. But we stop the breakaway free two points. Uh, Force him to earn it from the line. I don't really like that three ball attempt though because it causes a long uh, long rebound and long rebounds tend to lead to fast breaks like that one we just saw. Two free throws coming up here for Aaron Ray. 6'2 junior guard out of Middletown, New York. No good on the first. 9.28 to go here in the first half. Southern get off to a nine point lead. Gold Lions have it down to four here. Tolliver off the bench with a couple of big threes. He had some games last year where three games where he hit five or more threes in a game and hit five threes in a game against Alabama State on Monday night. 
He's got a couple here already, so Tolliver continues to shoot it well. Here's McKnight. Kick out to Tolliver. Back to McKnight. Thought about the three. Strong drive again in the lane. Can't get it to go. Loose basketball. Southern comes away with it. And uh, will lead to an easy two off the delayed pass there. Sam the bucket, the assist by Reese. Great job there on the fast break off the tippy tap play for the rebound. Able to come up with a rebound and hit that easy fast break bucket. 22-13 or 22-15 lead at seven here. Harper right side, Roberson got a whistle. His shot clock may have got unplugged. As we have a lot of people around that plug on the floor. We got a couple of photographers. We got our man Gabe down there doing some video work for us. We also got it some. It was uh, the closest to Gabe. We, we, we may have to blame Gabe for no. knocking it, knocking the power out of the shot clock. Don't do that. <laughs> His shoulders probably did it because he has gigantic shoulders. But you know, it's all right. Gabe McDonald, one of our fast Full communication. Backs. Uh, as well as yeah, play fullback on the football team, and that that probably the lead is. blocker there on unplugging the court. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Robertson, a long jumper from the left wing is no good, and Southern will clear the rebound up by seven. Uh, almost a travel there, right side, quick trigger three is good by Eddie Reese. That's his second from the same spot. Lead is at 10 now, back on Bang. the other end. Another three for Tolliver. It's, it's a three fest out here, three point contest. And I don't know who's winning it. I think it's a small lead for Southern in the three area. Pull up jumper, Sandifer no good. Tip out, rebound, and threw it ahead too far. Tried Tolliver. it, tried it, he tried it. He put a lot of backspin on it, look for the for the stop play, just a little bit loose with the football, with the basketball. Stop this is a basketball. Play leads us to a media timeout. 7.57 to play first half. Southern 25, UAPB 18, right back in a moment. Choreography over here. A little bit, a little bit. <clears throat> Tim Stubbs, Tyrese Boone, a happy new year, folks, as we are indoors, thankfully, as it is quite cold outside, but trying to heat it up here on the hardwood. Golden Lions down seven, however, 7.50 to play first half. Southern with the ball up by seven. As we resume play after the media timeout. Here's Sam. Turn around from five is good for Tough the big shot. man. Tough Sam shot by the big man. I am. He's got Jared eight. Sam. Jared Sam with eight and a rare non putback basket for him. So Here. far, indeed. McKnight kick out to Jackson. Charles trying to squeeze in a pass. Tipped away, stolen, a run out. Sandifer, the layup, no good. And Jackson will clear it for Pine Bluff. 
Nine point lead here for Southern McKnight. Right side, Tolliver is red hot. Heat check, no good. And securing the rebound was Southern's Aaron Ray. Here's Sam. He'll kick it out right wing. Mayo to Ray, back to Mayo, back to Ray. He'll pull the three, top of the key, way off to the left. Sandiford can't save it, so Pine Bluff will get it back here down by nine. Here it is. I think I think the strategy that uh, Southern Jaguars is trying to pull is they know the hot hand is Jared Sam. They're trying to force a double team and then maybe open someone up on the perimeter. This time around didn't quite work out as they had Sam tied up. Here's McKnight, turn around, nice. Ooh, that nice. is a next level move right there. That was beautiful. That was that Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, little shake, turn, spin, fade away, beautifully done. Shimmy to the one side, turn to the other, pull back, bang. McKnight's got seven, Sam loses it, throws it up wildly, leads to a run out here for UAPB. May have been looking for a foul there, but now they have a man advantage, they gotta take advantage of it. Underneath. Wait Ooh. for it, go up, throw it down. Yes, sir. That's exactly the way you do it. He felt the pressure on him. He had eyes on the back of his head. And now we're within five. 27-22, Southern up five with the ball. 5.40 to go, a steal by McKnight. To Tolliver in the lane. Banjo. Gonna have it. Counted and won. We had whistles by two different officials and and one opportunity here for the freshman from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Terrence Banyard, 6'8", 215, have a chance for a three-point play. It's like there's been a momentum shift after that media timeout, and it's you can feel it in the air in the stadium. And, and the momentum is squarely in the UAPB side right now. And missed the free throw. Five and a half to go before halftime. It's 27-24 Southern, up three with a basketball. Trying to force it into Sam. Good hands, knocked away, and last touch by Southern. And everybody in the stadium pointing to the UAPB side, and the referee agrees. The official, got to be official signing with it. Left side to Tolliver, out of Steen, to Banyard, needs some help. Steen on the right block here. Backs down, Sam goes up for the nice. shot, score it, and one. And now they have a chance to tie the game off of the big boy move from the big man. Steen. Trent Steen with a and one opportunity here. A chance to tie the game with 5.03 to play before half. Now they missed out on their first and one. Hopefully they get this one knocked down. First year with the Gold Lions last year. He's out of Forest City, Arkansas, near, near the Memphis area. And misses the free throw. Got to, second got year to convert with those. The Golden Lions. Missed opportunity there. 27 26, Southern by one in the ball here. 450 to play first half. Mayo down to Sam, trying to kick it back out. Steam blocks it and will gather the loose ball. McKnight had to throw it the last second so he wouldn't travel. Here's Tolliver. Trying to force it to Jackson, stolen away here on the run out, and the two is going to go off the glass for Sydney Umud. And the chance to come back to the lead, uh, to get the first lead, is going to have to wait a little bit longer. Hopefully, they don't try to force a long shot. There's Steen, out of Tolliver. To McKnight here, five to shoot. McKnight off a screen. 
Little pick and pop, Steen for three, no good. Jackson trying to chase down the rebound. Last touch, out of bounds off of UAPB. Official kind of got a little bit close to head coach of the Jaguars. Time out on Scott. the floor here. We'll step aside with 3.51 to play first half. Southern 29, UAPB 26. Right back in a moment. Three fifty-one to play before half. 29-26 Southern with the basketball, leading by three. Their largest lead, I believe, has been 10. The Golden Lions have cut it down to one. It's currently at three. Here's Mayo, left side, Sandiford to Sam. Had his so, Jaguar on the ground for a moment. Working around the perimeter here. Reese, now to Mayo, four to shoot. Mayo, a little floater. Air ball, offensive rebound, but it's going to be a shot clock violation. As Amude could not get the shot off, off the air ball. Great defensive pressure, moving with the ball, not allowing them to find any sort of lane. The fight with the force through on the zone defense there, and that's exactly how you draw it up when you're a coach. Here's McKnight. Gonna get called for steps. Acknowledging it, moving on. 3.08 to play before halftime. Southern will get it back up three. Reese, top of the key now. They're working around the perimeter here. Mayo, good defense here. The Golden Lions closing out. Not many good looks. Ten to shoot. Going to have to move here down to five. Pull up, partially blocked, no good. And there's Sam again. Sam Just is in the right place, right time. Exactly everywhere. He's been reading the ball well off the rim and able to put it in. He has the mat, uh, 10 points for him today. The most for the Jaguars, and that's one guy they need to get a body on for sure. Harper will take the three. No good. Oh, Ooh. mercy. Going up for the rebound. As Banyard, he comes down either on his hip or his backside rather hard. Shake that it he's, off. He does. He seems okay. Yeah, he bounced up pretty quick. Must be a glutton for punishment because that was quite that a was shot. Not easy. That was not an easy bump right there that he took. That was a, a loud thud as he hit the floor hard, but he seems to be okay. You could be either a good actor or it's just really, really tough. First shot is good. It helped his free throws out. <laughs> and they slipped me a handwritten note to make an announcement that I can barely read. That's always delightful. <laughs> I 
31-28 our score. Code Lions within three. Dump it down low, shot up is good and one. Sydney Amude. They've been really dominating on the inside. It seems to be a time change of Monday's double header as the tip off is, instead of being at 530 for the women's game is going to be at two in the men's game looks to be at four. So just keep that in mind everyone on oh, Martin Luther King Day of course uh, there are no school as far as that's concerned I believe on Monday but yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'll we'll be you're here. Correct, you're we'll correct. be here for this. I, I'm definitely down with the no school thing. Um, Not supposed to say that out loud. Oh, scoopity. <laughs> scoopity boobity. Oops. 34 28 Southern up six. Golden Lions looking to cut into it. Harper will take another three. This time it stays down. Cuts the lead in half, 2 3. But so Monday's game, 2 o'clock for the women, 4 o'clock for the men as they've moved it up. 2 o'clock for the women, 4 o'clock for the men on Monday against Alcorn State. Step back, 12 footer is good for Richard Lee. And Southern just keeps knocking down shots. It's just Hard to come back when the opponent keeps knocking them down, but bang. Yeah, here's Steen again from 15 on the right side. Pace is really quicked up, uh, picked up in the last couple minutes now as we're starting to go back and forth. It's all about momentum now. Who has the most behind them? One minute to play before halftime. Here's Sam, a little one-hander in the lane. No good. Offensive rebound, Sandifer battling for it. Banyard will clear it for Pine Bluff. I think he was the one that got a hand on it as well, but he was still able to get the shot up. That's good strength right there in midair. Ignite some contact. Gets hit in the They're face. Gonna, no call. They're going to... Let him play. And Ooh, and that's an check. emphatic one. Yeah, spiked up like he was in a volleyball game. <laughs> Something like that, man. Looks like he grabbed it midair and threw it. And a good reaction from the dancers back there. Uh, able to get out the way of that one. That was not. Steen was mad at the basketball. And yeah. Made him pay, but going to call a foul. Not sure who they. I, I it wasn't on Steen. He, Steen was the. The clean Second block. guy there on that, but uh, free throw is good, nevertheless, by Jamar Sandifer. Making it a 37-33 Southern lead with 37 seconds to play before halftime. Uh, the Golden Lions got down 10 and then kind of settled in. Around the and we had four a pretty five, tight first half after that. Yeah, it's around the four or five point area. Uh, they really have been, they've been really so close to grabbing the lead several times now, but every time they've come close, Southern kick it, kicks it into a second gear and start knocking down everything. However, we've been, we've responded in kind, so it's all right. Let's see what's going on on the floor right now. Not sure exactly what the call is or what the issue is. Or maybe they didn't. I don't know. Untied shoe. I'm just going to assume that and then move on. Second free throw is good. Lead back to five. 35 seconds left here. And we're going to have a timeout called by Posey. Gold Lions set up here for not the last shot, but close. Seven seconds differential. Keep it here <laughs> with. I'm trying to ask him with sign language and it's not working out. I don't know the well, proper You can always give me a handwritten letter. <laughs> <laughs> mail it. Mail it to you. In the middle of the game at your house. You, you, you won't see it. Anyway, but moving right along though. High energy, high effort in this last. Uh, this second stanza, I'm going to call it, close to the end of the first half. A lot of poetry references with stanzas and all that. Uh, I think that's starting to be a thing. 
theater department would be proud. My representative of them at all. But anyway. <laughs> 28 seconds left here. Gold Lions trying to get a little closer down five. Here's McKnight. Step back three, no good. Long rebound is chased down by Lee and Southern will come away with it here. Chance for the last shot of the half. And leading by five. Looks like it's gonna be Reese taking the last shot. Down to three in the lane. He'll kick it to Sandifer and mm. McKnight and Reese, or uh, Sandifer rather, uh, collide and it's gonna get a free throw, maybe two here. Let's see. So one and one. Uh, one and one for Sandifer with 0.7 oh, seconds boy. left. So this is their version of a buzzer beater. Wow. Pretty much. I mean, you know, you can't blame the call there. That was a good call by the referee. The pass led him into Sandifer. He's going to hit the first one, and they're probably going to try to look for the seven-point lead at the end of the first half. And makes them both. Took advantage of the opportunity. And the long three-point try was blocked out of bounds. That win the first half. Southern, the little spurt there before halftime, 40 to 33 here at the break. Southern leads it over UAPB by seven. We'll have the second half coming up for you shortly. And now ladies and gentlemen, entertainment by the New Four campaign.
Well, we are moments away from the second half here. Southern leading by seven, Tim Stubbs, Tyree Spoon, and pretty entertaining first half. Oh, yeah. And Southern had a seven point lead at the break. That's where we'll start the second half here in just a moment. Yeah, very entertaining first half indeed. A lot of back and forth action. A lot of times where UAPB looked like he was they were going to retake the lead. Uh, not actually ended up happening because every time they got close, Jags turned on another level and started knocking down almost everything. Let's see if they can respond. Here's Sam on the right side. As Southern has the first possession of the second half here. 15 on the shot clock. They get it inside to Sam, spins, trying to dump it down low and loose basketball here, kicked out of bounds, last touched. I believe it's... I can't tell which way they pointed the ball. They're going to say off the UAPB, set off the foot of a Golden Lion player on the floor there. So Southern will get it back with just four to shoot on the shot clock. Strong drive, a little runner off the glass, no good. With one on the shot clock, UAPB will get it back. Good defense, not allowing any easy looks down low. That's exactly what set up that change possession. That was Mayo who took the shot. Mayo leading score with 10 points. Posey left side to Tolliver. Tolliver and Whoa. gets it to Steen and Steen with the emphatic two-handed jam. Big boy moves by a really big dude, and that's exactly what happened now. They're going to look to take that momentum. So the strong dunk by Steen makes it a five-point lead here for Southern as the Golden Lions try to get a little closer. And almost a turnover here, last touched. Going to save by Posey with 11 on the shot clock. 18.44 to play. Now the crowd's starting to get into it. And Ooh, going close. for the steal, yeah, almost Posey. Mayo, little floater, left side, no good, trying to keep it alive, and Steen will clear it for Pine Bluff. Steen is really turning on the heat down low, getting the rebounds when he needs them the most. Here's McKnight. Look for him to come alive, and now he turns it over. Oh, and my still goodness. Steen with the rejection on the run out here is a nice steal by Amude, but then he is fouled. They're going to call a foul on Steen. Oh, I like thought a it was pretty clean. good block, but I they thought call it was a foul. Yeah. It sounded clean, came off the backboard. I mean, it was emphatic, almost LeBron James-esque, if you will, but they call the foul on, in, on him instead, so it's going to be a free two shots. And first free throw by Amude is no good. That was, a, that was a hefty block now. McKnight's going to sit as well as number 33. Everyone's going to sit. Second free throw is good. 41-35 lead at six here for Southern. Posey with the basketball, picked up by Reese. Oh, working around the perimeter here. Trying to get it to Harper and Steen's pass. A little off high. Off the mark there. A little bit high on that pass down low. Trying to feed the man in the middle to try to penetrate this defense. Maybe trying to set up open shots on the outside for the future. Reese, top of the key, right side. Thomas, or Johnson rather, kicks it back out. They'll set it up with six to shoot. Right side, long three, rims out, no good by Johnson. Rebound Steen to Hardy, left side. Top of the key. Posey, ball fake, pull up, 17, no good. Battle for the loose ball. Harper chases it down, knocked out of bounds by 
Johnson. In result, UAB ball. I, and I can, I can, I love the effort being shown there. A lot of energy coming out of halftime in those first three minutes. 17, 19 to play, second half, 41 35. Southern up six, trying to inbound it deep to Hardy here. Johnson fell down, slipped. Here's Steen, nice little take there. Floater no good from about five feet out. Rebound, Southern comes away with it. May have been better off trying to use the backboard there instead of trying to switch it in cleanly. Here's Sam on the baseline. Strong drive, gets it stripped. And Umude kept it alive, but now the Golden Lions come away with it. Wallace, nice pass to Hardy off the glass. Yeah, he was looking at him all the way down, trying to find that open lane. And he Check waited that. till the perfect moment to make that feed. Now William Ridgell from uh, Whitehall. Pass taken away here by Hardy. They're really looking to try to nice feed Sam. Had Harper, he couldn't handle the pass, and he would have, I think he was thinking about the dunk before he secured the ball. Because it was coming. You knew yeah. it was coming. He was going to make it, make it, make it blow the roof off this place in a moment, but yeah, you got to secure the catch first, you know. Harper and Steen both can throw it down. Yeah, we already seen Steen do it a couple times. 41-37, Golden Lions down four. Here's Southern with the ball. Nearly four minutes in, three-point shot is good by Reese on the right corner. Trying to get some separation on the scoreboard. Now we're back to seven. Reese now his third three of the game. He has nine. Yeah, Southern with hurting the Golden Lions with their threes here today. Now they're looking for a 4-1 motion offense. 44-37. Supposedly looking for an isolation. Nice hand stolen there by Lee, the kick ahead. As the shot clock was going off and a hurt knee here on the other end. It looks like slow to get up hobbling was Sandifer. And gonna have an immediate time out here and sort all this out. 15-27 to go. Early second half, Southern 44, UAPB 37. Right back in a moment. Fifteen twenty-seven to play here. Early second half. Tim Subs, Tyrese Boone. How you doing? What up, man? Uh, we are back at it for the looks like the free throw attempts after the little bit of a hard knocking play right before the media yeah, timeout. I think timeout. it scared Santa for the way he landed. It immediately grabbed that left knee, but then he popped up and kind of started kind of limping, hopping. 
trying to get some feeling back into that leg. Potato sack racing. I don't know. He was doing a little bit of everything there, but he seems to be okay. Kind of scared him a bit yeah. more than likely, but. Probably knocked the knee on the ground or got it twisted up a bit, but. Well, this leads up to nine here for Southern with 15 minutes to go in the game. Steen pull up from 10, no good. Sander for the rebound, tied up with. I believe it's Ridgell. And then that looks like the arrow is pointing towards you, APB. Or Ridgell could be. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out uh, the name there. No problem. 44, new player, his fellow Whitehall. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, sprinkle from Whitehall, so. Blocking foul for foul. number 10. <laughs> Sandifer perplexed about the call there. Yeah, that's the that's the look of a perplexed man. That, that is the perfect description for the look on Sandford's face right there. And they got to set up again. 46-37, Southern up nine. Golden Lions gonna have to find a come little on bit here. Of a, a spark. If they want to improve to 4-0 in conference play, gonna have to get it going. And bound it to Steen on the baseline. Backs his man down, turn around from 12 off the glass, a little too strong. Southern clears it. Sandifer will come the other way. If they want to increase their lead to double digits, they need a they need a play here. Sam, top of the key, left side. Taking the three is Lee. No good. Steen the rebound. Sprinkle with the basketball. His first minutes of the game crossover. Left Looking side. for a move to break down the defender. Here's Harper, turn around, it's good, Beautiful. nicely done. That baby hook, one of my specialties. Puts, puts it in baby there. Shack? Yeah, baby shack, baby hook. Beautifully done. 46-39, seven point lead. Golden Lions gonna have to get some stops. 13.50 to play. Top of the key here. Sandifer left side to Lee. Little ball fake. Now to Sam. Ooh. Gets fouled with. Which come first, the foul or the shot clock? Uh, it's going to be right at the buzzer, but I think they're going to get it just ahead of the shot clock going off. Mm. Two shots it is. Boy, right at the end of the possession. You know, and I can tell it's really hard to keep up with both the, the action and the shot clock, even though they're right above each other. Because you're so you know busy, like, oh, what's he gonna do with the ball? And then all of a sudden, the yellow light comes on and everything stops. Yes. Sam's first shot, too strong, no good. You know, considering how hard he's been working on the boards recently, uh, it's amazing that this is his first chance at the free throw line. I believe it is. Am I, wrong about, am I right about that? I feel like I am. And so, He's really been working hard on the boards, especially on both sides of the ball, especially on the offensive side. I believe he has a couple of offensive rebounds, uh, at least four offensive rebounds by himself. Second shot is good. Lead at eight points here for Southern, 13 and a half to play. McKnight back in the game. Tolliver, right side to McKnight. He's been quiet. He's been Since trying. that fast start, he has been quiet, but got to get him going. Turn around from 10, no good again there by Steen. It's been off just a bit. Yeah, he's been trying to get himself going, going McKnight, but it just hasn't worked out. And jumper by Umude is good on the right baseline. They need to find some good shots on the offensive end. Lead back to 10 just like that. Jackson, ball fake, blocked underneath, and out of bounds. Going to stay with Pine Bluff with 13 on the shot clock. Twelve forty-one to play. And not a lot 
going on offensively for the Golden Lions after that hot start coming out of the break. It's been really, really quiet for the past few minutes. Here's McKnight. A rocket pass to Tolliver. Tolliver the drive kick out. McKnight thought about the three. Dribbles to his left and hits the long two. A little bit of a drifter. The dribble pull up. Beautiful work there by McKnight and it looks to get going. 49-41 back to an eight point game. McKnight now with nine points in the game. Nice dump down pass from Sam and Umude gets the basket. Kind of a cheap foul there. He's gonna get an end one. Ticky tack a little bit. Didn't seem to affect play much. It was called on him anyway though. So great job finishing the play that time. Christian Robertson sure. checks in. I'm not sure I quite agree with that call. But you know. That's it. That's not, not my job. I don't. I don't. I wasn't. I didn't go to the school of official. So it's all good. First step is admitting it. Won't mm -hmm. <laughs> get me doing that much, huh? <laughs> Here's Beautiful. the shot. Omude completes the three-point lay uh, play. It's an 11-point game. Biggest lead of the game. They need to find something here to get Bill Miller back on their side. It was close with McKnight. Looks like he thinks he can break him down here. Here's Jackson trying to back his man down, uses his size, but comes up short on the jumper in the lane. They just have not been able to execute offensively. Again, the shot clock goes off after a change of possession. They did not reset the shot clock for Southern after the rebound, but we're gonna have immediate timeout, though we have a chance to fix that. Yep. 52-41, Southern's largest lead of the game with the 11-35 mark here, second half, back in a moment. Well, 11.35 remaining, it's 52-41, Southern by 11, and the basketball, their largest lead of the game currently. And Lee, his three will not go, rebound McKnight. Old Lions gonna start chipping away here. McKnight's got it. Top of the key right side, a little two-man game with Tolliver. Robertson back in the ball game here for UAPB. Now to Jackson, 10 to shoot. Charles Jackson wants to go one on one in the lane. Kicks it to Robertson, baseline jumper no good. Strong rebound by Banyard. He's fouled as Banyard's back in the ball game. First action of the second half. Had some good minutes in the first half. Second foul team wise for the Jackson. The Jaguars, the Jackson State Jaguars. Oh, Jesus Christ. Of Southern. Southern Jackson. Jaguar. 
I know what you mean. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting going here. McKnight trying to find some space for him to get his shot off. Can't do it. Try to get it down low. Gets it to Banyer. The kick out. Jackson for three is no good. And Umude almost got it. Now the Golden Lions do have it. McKnight pulls the three. No good. The tip will not go for Jackson, but he keeps it alive. Tolliver. Short on the three again, offensive rebound. McKnight, no good. <laughs> rebound. Oliver. McKnight again. One more time. Bang! Yes. There we go. My. Thank the heavens for the offensive rebound as it has happened. I think this is the wow. third or fourth <laughs> time it happened. If you first don't succeed, you, you try, try and try, try again. In stereo. My Beautiful. Goodness. 52-44, Golden Lions, and that was a big shot. Cuts it to an eight-point game. Pull up, Umude, in and out, no good. So the Golden Lions trying to get a pass there by Jackson and stolen away looking for Robertson, but found Shepard. Mm. Needed that one there. Tried to get the breakaway going, trying to get momentum back on our side. Shepard looking for the trap on the way. There's a steal. McKnight, two on one to Tolliver. The layup and one, a cheap foul. And that's hey. not going to make Southern <laughs> coach Chris or Morris Scott very happy. A little touch foul. If you're going to foul him, foul him. And especially on a layup, that was way too easy for Tolliver. And all of a sudden, after the five chance three point shot, Momentum. And a three-point play, and we got a six-point game. Momentum seems to have swung our favor, my friend. <laughs> As UAPB Golden Lions, after fighting really hard for a three-point <laughs> shot that <laughs> may have wrecked their entire three-point field goal percentage average, but uh, it ended up being a big one in the end. 9.15 to play, still anybody's game. Golden Lions trying to get back in it here, and they cut it to five. And we're right back where we were most of the second, first half, I mean. 52-47, nine to play. Sandifer, left side. Strong drive, high floater. It goes Too off the strong. top of the backboard. Robertson clears it. That was Ray on the shot. That was way off. Robertson, or McKnight, rather, is fouled. Stops the clock at 846. Uh, Foul's going to be on Jamar Sandifer. That's his third team foul, number four of the half. He's going to have to probably sit for a little bit just to keep him safe. For a later stage of the game. Official checking on something, and then we're going to restart. Inbound it to McKnight. He'll pull the trigger. No good on the baseline. Sam the rebound. McKnight so. still hasn't really gotten going to the point where we're used to seeing him, at least, at least that he was on the away games in conference. Five-point lead for Southern. Here's Reese for three off the mark. No good. Sam with the tip out keeps it alive. That's what's been giving them and the confidence yep, to shoot Ivory these threes. didn't like that. Quickly gets Posey up to the scorer's table. He really did and not Not like only that. do the big men have to block out on those threes, if everybody's got to block out because the rebounds are usually long. Exactly. Here's Sam. Strong drive. Gets it to go. Sam's Tough shot off the glass. Being rewarded for his effort on the glass and he's really really been dominant all game in the glass especially that's why they've been having confidence to shoot those threes mcknight right side to tolliver now there's steen on the right block attacked sam but too strong on the shot mm. they need and as soon as they get momentum it just kind of sputters out a bit 
trying to find a way back in this game. A oh, strong, quick move on the baseline there. Mude is going to be rewarded with two shots as we have a timeout on the floor. Media timeout, 7.29 to play. Starting to get late in this one, 54-47. Southern still with a seven-point lead. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a big round of applause. The Southwest Athletic Conference has recognized one top five news on Timmy's new night as the Swats in the National Player of the Week. Those outstanding performers during the week, not in the middle of the season. Let's have a big round of applause for Timmy's new night. Also, a big round of applause goes out to Tashar Chiney. He was the new league football MVP. As a nice part of the Little Rock Touchdown Club. So, a big round of applause for the MVP, Tashar Chiney. Seven twenty nine left. Fifty four forty seven seven point lead here for Southern. Yeah, Mude at the line was fouled before the last time out there. Quick baseline move. Drew the foul, hits the first shot. Golden Lions had cut it down to five from eleven. Now we're back and up to eight. Yeah, could get over the hump there. So close. Still time left for the Golden Lions, but going to have to. They really got to get, get a move, move on. Yeah, That's definitely. Posey calling for a box now. Let's see what they're going to go for. Here's Robertson, top of the key to Steen. Now to Tolliver. Steen again. Goes right up with it and scores Seems in the lane really, from about eight feet out. Seems really turned it on when we've needed the most. 56-49 now. Steen now with a dozen in the game. I'd say work the ball through Steen when he get back on offense because he's really been hitting the big ones. Long three as the shot clock gets down two three, but an offensive rebound and a foul called here at the last second. Good. And exit a shooting foul, I believe it is. And uh, that was Collins who missed the three, and then the offensive rebound by Chris Thomas. Unfortunate set of circumstances right there. Called the foul on Posey. That's his fourth. He'll have to come out of the game. Yeah, it's really close to being fouled out, and they're going to probably need him in the bottom, in the last stretch of the game because he's been really finding his targets. Yeah, Posey, also a freshman from Milwaukee. He and Banyard are both freshmen from Milwaukee played together at Destiny High School. So they get continue their college career together. Pretty special. As McKnight misses the jumper, knocked out of bounds. Yeah, there's nothing like playing with someone you already have chemistry with. And Posey and McKnight, you can see it on the floor, working together well. The lead at eight here for Southern, 6.18 to go. McKnight, beautiful pass to Banyard, hangs and hits a chance for a three. Excellent play there by Banyard, hanging, and then the strength to hit. the strength and the finesse at the same time to, hit, to finish that play. That beautiful work by Banyard, and now we have a chance to get within five again. 
if my quick math is correct. Yes, it is. 57-52, <laughs> back to a five-point game, just over six to play. Looking for the trap. Some pressure here. And Reese just gets it across. Baseline. Oh, hard, hard foul, foul by Steen, and then he hits the floor with his backside pretty hard, but boy, did both of those players get up Man. as Amude was trying to look like dunk one, and Steen went up just as high, if not higher, to block it, and then there was a collision there at the intersection. Yeah, you know, mm. I mean, I think this is, the, this, was this, is this the second time he's Smacked on the ground today. Uh, I believe that was Banyard earlier. Oh, yeah, Banyard earlier. But but yeah, both very similar plays. Mude hits the first really free throw. Tumbles right there. Lead back to six. Mude now with 14 points to lead the way for Southern. You may not feel it today, but you're probably going to feel it in the morning. You see in the elbow area. That's where a lot of people put a lot of weight on when they land. Back to a seven point lead is. Southern off of, off of two successful free throws. 59-52, 5.50 to go. Here's McKnight. Can't find space. Out of Jackson, left side, almost stripped, and stolen by Reese. And a foul's going to be called on McKnight as Collins is fouled in transition. It's going to be his second. Oh. Knight doing what you have to do, hard fouling, making them earn it from the line, but 18 fouls, you know, any foul you want to make, you got to make it hard because they're in one-to-one -one territory. First shot for Collins is good, so the Goat Lions, twice they've cut it to five, but have not been able to get any closer. They just need a little extra burst. And second one is good as well. Lead back to nine here. They need something here to keep them in it. Five and a half to play. Here's Banyard. Now Steen, strong drive, step back, jumper is good. Southern wanted a walk there, and there's no call, and Steen makes the 12-footer. Exactly what we need to do. Give it to the hot hand. Steen has been that. Maybe it'll attract a lot more attention on the offensive end. Good defense. Passes by Reese is off the mark. It's going to turn over. It's going to give it back to UAPB. Yeah, he's been, UAPB has been doing well on the defensive end, at least in this pass possession. McKnight looking to get into double figures, stuck on nine points right now. This will do it. Missed the three, crashing the boards and getting the tip back there was Trayvon Harper. Trayvon well, Harper, an excellent play there. Almost a put back dunk, but he was able to finagle it back into the net. I like that. Willed one. it in. Willed it in. That's, that's, a, that's a good one. Nine points. Lead back to five. Need a stop here. Just over four to play. Baseline drive, pull up from 15 is good. Big basket there by Chris Thomas. As Southern continues to answer. Here's McKnight working on Thomas, left side to Harper. That was a bit of a flop there, and he's going to get caught for the block. Uh, try, he tried to pull the chair out from under him. And Indeed. good eye for the ref, good eye the, by the professor, the professor, the official. <laughs> and one player, I believe. But anyway, 3.49 to go. We'll step aside for the professor and Marianne and Gilligan's Island and the rest of the crew. All right, back in a moment, 6 to 3 See you back here.
3.49 lift. It's late in this one. Golden Lions with the basketball. Down seven here on the inbound. And McKnight's able to score point blank. Basket, he's in double figures with 11 now. Yes, exactly what he needs. He still has been a little bit off on his field goal percentage. As he's chucked a lot up, but not a lot has fallen in kind. 63-58, Golden Lions need a stop right here. Have been no closer than five. The whole second half shot no good by Sam. Steen again on the boards. He's been crashing them lately. Here's McKnight. Pull up from 15. Will not go. Offensive rebound. Stick back for Steen, and it's a three-point game. Steen again crashing the boards. He's going to lead us back into the back into the lead there. Now it's three. 63 to 60. Golden Lions again need another big stop here. 245 to play. Left side, three for Reese is good. The answer. That's a bit deflating for the UPB right now, but they need to find That's, an answer right now. He's got 12 all coming from three point range, his fourth of the game. That big three there doubles the lead to six and then maybe an ill-advised shot in the corner there by Harper. Comes up short on the three and gets that look from George Ivory, understandably so. Hmm. Don't have to answer every three with one of your own. Just make sure you get points out of the possession. Also it's true in almost every sport. 66 to 60, and boy, that was a big turn of events there. Goes from three to six, and then a quick one and done three on the other end. Now Southern's got it back again with 2.18 to go. Remember that little sequence right there. Yeah. Harbor got sat down right after that. Extinguishing the fire and momentum of that comeback bid. They still have a little bit of time, but not much. Just under two minutes right now. Shot clock down to five. Rise and fire three, no good by Lee. Another offensive rebound. Missed the stick back, however. He could have took it back out and worked the clock, but he didn't do so. Here's McKnight. Needs help. Passes it off the floor to Tolliver. Gang! Absolutely incredible. Tolliver, he's got 15 all from three-point range. And that is back-to-back -back games for him with five threes. 5-3-T downtown. This, is, this has become an excellent game so far. And this is the closest we've gotten in a quite a long time. Taking the lead We're within three now. But we need a stop. Every time we've gotten this close, we haven't gotten the stop that we needed to take the advantage that we had to take. So we'll see what happens here. 66-63 with 137 left. Southern with a three-point lead and the basketball. chance to tie up the game or get that one inch closer and need one or two more stops to make this play sorry I like your routine there I mean yeah you know, I'm, tr I'm trying I'm trying to find some uh, try out for the golden girls oh god <laughs> the golden boys okay the that golden works. grams the all right everywhere here we go three-point game look out oh. the mood a plants one that's, that's oh. a big one that's a really big one Woo. mercy they gotta find a way to get back they can't let it discourage him 68 63 a minute 10 to go 
Here's McKnight. Odin lines down five. Tolliver for three. Bang. Yes, sir. Not allowing. He was like, I'm not finished draining him yet. Beautiful three by Tolliver with a man in his face able to jump it right over the top. Uh, he's got 17 in the game. And I'm not sure if they called that a long two or a three. No, it was a three. That was a three. Well, they had him with 15 up there, and then I don't understand. But anyway, he's. Either way, though, that two points away. A two point to... game, just like that. Minutes ago, I told you. This is it's a tight game, yeah. like you were saying early it's on. It's like this all the time with these two. It always seems to go down to the final few seconds, usually the last shot. Incredible game so far from Skeen and Tolliver, who have been leading the points so far. Skeen with 17, Tolliver with 15. I yeah, they so. haven't changed it. As he should have 18 now, I believe. I think, Either they, way. I think they may have gave Steen the points there a moment ago. Anyway. Either way, we're not going to worry about that right now. The important oh. bit is we have a two-point deficit to clear. 68-66, 50 seconds remaining. A very important shot clock. possession. Left side to Reese. He's been big in this ball game. And he's got four threes. In the corner, three-point shot is Ooh. blocked by Banyard. They're going to play alive. on. Banyard saves it to Harper ahead. Tolliver for the tie is good. Yes, sir. We are tied at 68 with 25.9 left. And there was a loose ball kept alive there by Banyard. Got it to Harper. Harper found Tolliver. It was a hard run play. Out yeah. It was a hard play there. Saw uh, what, uh, the young man. Sandifer seemed Sandifer. to be shaking up a little bit. Yeah, Sandifer took a huge shot. Wasn't called. They let him play on. Play on you if you did. Time out on the floor. 68, 26 seconds. 68 off. It's going to come down to who has the ball last and who executes first. That's, that's exactly what I'm seeing, think, predicting right now. Seeing, thinking, and predicting. I said all three of those at the same time. But either way. A lot of action here in the last stand of this contest. And a lot more to come if uh, the time not have anything to say about it. Execution. Any mistake that's made by either team could definitely come back to bite them in the end. Any other cliches I got for you? I don't think I got any more. The other cliches you need, I don't got. I don't think I have any more. I, I, I tried all of them. Banyard. 68 all, 26.8 seconds left. McKnight, Banyard, Steen. You remember the Southern had a six point lead in the basketball, and all of a sudden now we are tied. With less than 30. 68. 23 seconds, Southern with the basketball here tied up. They could hold possession. for the final shot. And looks like that's what they're going to try to do. 14 seconds and counting. Here is Reese. He wants to take the shot. No, he doesn't. Now Sandifer. Four seconds left. Stolen away. Ahead to Tolliver at the buzzer. And no! And Tolliver. Ill-advised three, but it was uh, a shot on time. He had time to get all the way to the bucket. And Tolliver. Getting a little this bit is of the jumper, but we are going to overtime. Here we go. And uh, Coach Ivory go. upset with Tolliver. Thought he had enough time to get a layup. Instead, of you, he pulled up to take the jumper. And some would say as hot as he's been, his jumper is like a layup. But, yeah, but this time nevertheless, not as successful. No. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is a crazy game right now. Frantic. And now we have 
five minutes to determine who gets walks out to here with a W, because I don't think it stopped in college overtime. We're gonna walk out here with the winner for sure. And hopefully we have enough tape to record it all. Absolutely crazy. Six day at all is the score. And overtime is where we are. And right now, I say momentum was on firmly the side of UAPB on the way out of that game. However, Tolliver was a big time miss. Well, The momentum is still on UPB, UAPB's side, but because of the fact they had to come back from a six-point deficit in under a minute and a half. And they've done that, and so frantic, let's see what they can do. Frantic finish to this one. We go to overtime. Opening tip is going to go to Chris Thomas in Southern as we are tied at 68 here. Right side to Collins. They'll set it up here. Amude. Collins looking for Sam on the right block. Sealed off pretty good there. Now he's trapped, almost threw it away. Five to shoot. Collins in the lane, partially blocked. Keeps it alive a couple of times. The tip twice by Sam. Saved by Steen, maybe. They're going to say uh, out of bounds. That's, it was a hard one. I don't have a good angle on it. I don't think y'all ever did in the, with the crowd out and the band not agreeing with that call right there. Out of bounds on UAPB is going to be stepped, Jaguar ball. Stepped on the baseline underneath there. And Bang. the inbound and of course Southern makes some pay for the extra chance, but they had about six chances on that possession. Yes, they did. But now McKnight Gonna try to lead his squad. Here's McKnight, step back jumper, in and out, no good. Nice rebound, Banyard in the stick back. Banyard has McKnight's back right there, who hasn't been all the way accurate with all of his shots, but he's been trying, and he's had good shots. Caught him with that, that uh, snatch back hesitation. Tied at 70. Step back three in the, or maybe a long two rather, no good. Big time block. Whistle, travel. Beautiful. Good defense right there. The big time block by Trent Steen. I always want to call him Kevin Steen. Because he uh, reminds me of a wrestler I know. He's just big and imposing and physical. And that's exactly what I'm seeing from Trent Steen right here. Golden Lions haven't led since the first couple of minutes of the game. Here's McKnight. Ooh. No call. Thought there was some body there. Couldn't get the call. Got it blocked and then last touched by McKnight out of bounds. You see, I mean, I don't mind this kind of officiating because it's consistent on either side. Let them play. Let them play. Let them play some ball. Coming right at us. Almost a turnover there. McKnight. Right there, trying to take advantage of any hesitation Reese might have, trying to get the ball across the half court. Now they're back to the rotating 2 3. The Mude, the drive, partially. That's a foul, yeah, that was. Uh, up with some contact, he'll draw the foul. No doubt about that one. The Mude looks rather. Tired now. And the fourth on Steen. Now these are the kinds of free throws that you that judge you by your character. Your ability to fight through any sort of exhaustion because he's played a lot of minutes this game. Ninth team fouls, so still a one and one here. I believe. Oh, he was on in the act of shooting rather, but that's the fourth on Steen. So now you start getting in overtime like this, you start to 
Wonder who See some foul keep. trouble issues here. Makes the first and the second. So a two-point lead for Southern, 72-70. They need Steen out there for sure. So I don't think they're going to force him out of the game right Three now. Three minutes to go here in overtime. McKnight, McKnight here on the left wing. Gets it to Banyard, kicks it out to Tolliver, but he can't handle the pass out of bounds. And a big turnover there. And that's the first big change in momentum. Uh, first empty possession for UAPB in overtime, I believe. Top of the key, Collins. Patient in their offensive set here. 10 on the shot clock. Fumude gets it to Sam, goes over the right hand and scores, and lead is at four now for Southern. Sam, 17 points on the day. He's been really working it. Harper back to McKnight. The screen goes off to the left. Now Steen from 15. Bang. Hits. Chris Steen, he's got 19 now. 74-72, back to a two-point game. Oh, yeah, he's probably supposed to have 17, isn't he? But either way, close to 20. 15 on the shot clock. Rocking the box in one. Here's a Mude, kicks it out left side. Thomas missed the shot. Great rebound there. Banyard up high for the board. Goat Lions could tie or take the lead on this possession with 125 to go. It looks like it's going to come down to the wire again. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't have the heart for this. Right side. Now back to McKnight. 10 to shoot to Harper on the left block. Nice give to Banyard. Try to throw it down. He's fouled. Big boy. Banyard with the bounce and almost got it in for the and one play and that would have been absolutely clutch and sensational but not this time and now he has a chance to tie it if he knocks down both of these here these are these are very crucial moments bang freshman from milwaukee wisconsin Knocks down one. Can we get the second? Bang! Nothing but net. Banyard. Clutch free throws right there. Absolutely. He's in double figures with 11. We're tied at 74. One minute to go in overtime. Holding it out high is Reese. To Collins, now back to Reese. 12 to shoot, um, Mude back to Reese for three, left wing, no good. Tipped out on the rebound to Mude, and he's fouled. Boy, the offensive rebounds have been brutal. They've really been some of the downfalls of UAPB. Right now, in this particular game, they've given up a lot of offensive rebounds now. And I think that's going to put him in uh, surefire two. I think that's what that means. Double bonus. Double bonus, yeah. He'll get two automatic here. And try to give Southern the lead with 43 seconds left here in overtime. The first of two. The crowd starts to get loud here. And Mude bangs it in. Now one. 75, 74, with 43 seconds to go. Let's we'll see if Coach Ivory wants to call a timeout after this shot. And we'll let him play on. Gets the roll on the second. Two-point lead for Southern, 40 seconds to play. McKnight, 11 points on the day. Hasn't hit a lot so far, but what he has hit, he's been clutch with. Here's Harper now. Needs some help. McKnight comes out to get it. A strong drive for McKnight. The flow floater will not go. Long rebound to Tolliver. Back to McKnight for three. Bang! Oh, my God, what a clutch and three. The Golden Lions now lead it by one after the big three by McKnight. 
And off the glass, no good. Foul called with seven seconds left in overtime. And what a play by Trent Steen. Holding on to the ball, making sure no one else can get a handle on it. Making sure he's the only one to get a touch on that ball. Beautiful. 77-76 after a little helter-skelter play offensively leads to a McKnight three and he drained it. Oh Clutch. my goodness. And I was just saying how McKnight was having a hard time hitting everything. Hits that one the was money clutch. ball. The clutch one. 77, 76, Steen. Bang! Is good. And with seven seconds left, Steen now with 20. And gives the Golden Lions a two point lead. Big shot here. Crowd silences. And ah. he missed it. Seven seconds left. Southern wants to call a timeout. 6.3 yeah, seconds. Ooh, Southern boy. the basketball down by two. It's interesting. It's getting interesting now. This is a barn burn. A slobber knocker of the game. It's been physical. It's been emotional. It's been another shuttle word. My vocabulary is leaving me right now because of how close and great this game has been. UAPB ahead, 78-76, two points. Only two points left, and only 6.9 seconds left. Enough time for one miracle shot to dash the hopes of UAPB. Hopefully I'm not jinxing by saying that. Just the clock to 6.9 as they have one, maybe two shots at this. Reese down the court, down the sideline, cuts up the middle, looks on the outside. Three, right side, and Bang. no good, and that ball game is over as the three missed at the buzzer. 78-76, the Golden Lions win it by two. My goodness, you know, when you said it, I didn't believe it personally. But all of the game like this, was every game serious like this? With it between Southern and <laughs> that was an absolute barn burner for sure. Well, 78-76, the final. And an unbelievable game, and the Golden Lions improved to 4-0 in conference play. And they gut one out there at the end. Amazing, amazing finish. Beautiful work there. Beautiful work there by UAB. Uh, your final thoughts before we wrap it up. Well, I mean, there were some issues with their 